Hi, my name is Nick Mitchell and welcome to this in real tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get started developing for the in real light in Unity. So first step, we need Unity. Go to unity.com, get started, go to download, download the Unity Hub. I've already got mine here. Installs and you're going to need to add your version of Unity. I'm using 2019.4. When you add it, make sure that you have Android build support. So download that. I've already got mine downloaded and you can start a new project. So for a new project, we just want a basic 3D project. You can choose your project folder and I'm going to call this getting started in Unity Fishes. Why did I add fishes there? You'll find out later. Okay, as you can see here, we have a fresh blank project in Unity. I'm going to go back to the Unreal website, developer, download the SDK, scroll to the bottom here. I'm using the newest 1.3.0. I agree to the terms and conditions and download. I've already got my download finished, so I just open that Unity package. All right, so for my package, I'm going to import the entire Unreal SDK, which in Unity is called NR SDK. So my Unreal SDK has been added to my scene. I'm going to show you just simplest way to kind of get your hands on the Unreal and figure out what's going on is to check out the demos here. I'm going to pop up Hello MR, Unreal's version of Hello World. You can see here we got our Unreal camera rig, the input, which is going to be your controller or your phone, a little bit of stuff in the scene. We got the logo here, some tips on tracking. This is going to be a little UI, your plane detector, uh, which lets you know where the plane is. Uh, a visualized prefab and some kind of prefab that you're going to add on top of your plane. We can see here if we press play, this is the Unreal emulator. So right now in Unity I'm able to, using WASD, I'm able to move around, look up, look down by holding space. Clicks anywhere on the screen will register as a touch on the touchpad. If I hold down shift, I can control the raycast that you will usually be controlling by the controlling unit that you have in your hand. So what I want to do actually is create my own scene. So I'm going to create a new scene. I do not need the main camera. So I'm going to be using the Unreal camera. So I'm going to pop in the prefab, the Unreal camera rig, as well as the Unreal input. And I have a small idea for this app, what I want to make. Just think it would be kind of cool to have some fish flying around. Here is a cool asset that I've purchased before. Unfortunately, it is not free, so if you want to follow along, you can use anything, any sort of FBX model or your own assets, throw them into your scene. Cool, so that's downloaded. We're going to import it into our package, and I'll show you how easy is it to connect this asset with the Unreal Light. So I have my asset added to my scene. We got my fish schools. I'm gonna add some dolphins as uh, water mammals seem to be all the rage in AR. So I could prefab. I got my small group right here. I'm gonna set the position to zero, zero, zero. And I like this. Uh, one thing you can know in Unity, one Unity unit translates to one meter in real life space. So we can see here, this is going to be the head position is right there. And I want my dolphins to be swimming kind of in the sky, slightly above the user and around them. So that works good. I don't need this. And again, with the emulator, I can play here and let's take a look. Where are my dolphins? Oh, here we are. So you can see they're swimming around. You can see in the scene view, my camera moves with the WASD as well as rotates. There we go. This is kind of the look that I'm wanting. 
You got dolphins that are on all sides of you, so you kind of got to spin around to follow them. Maybe you won't be able to see them, and you got to look around. Where are they? Where are they? Perfect. There they are. Okay. So everything is done. This is ready to build. I've created an AR app for the in real light. And the last thing is to build. So first step for building, we're going to need to just switch over to Android. Great. So we've switched to Android and now we just need to set up our build settings for running on the in real light. To do that, we can follow the reference over here on the Unreal developer site. Quick start for Android. We're gonna have everything you need right here. Usually what I do is I add that to my scene on the right so I can just copy it piece by piece, make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so to start off, player settings, resolution, and presentation. We're gonna take this to portrait other settings, auto graphics API, we want it to be set to false, and graphics API, we want open GLES3, Vulcan, we can get rid of. Next, we need to go down to our package name. Currently, company needs to be set to Unreal, and the Identifier can be anything you want. I'm going to call this getting started with dolphins. Our minimum API settings, we're going to need 8.0 and 8.0 for the target API level. Write permissions, we need external SD card. We need to allow unsafe code. Okay, and the last thing we need to do Go to quality, vsync count, and that's going to be don't sync. All our settings are set. Let's build. And I'm going to name this getting started with dolphins. And let's build. All right. Our app is built and would be able to be viewed right now on the Unreal Light just like that. So thanks everyone. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, join us on our Slack. We got a very active community here. Also make sure to join the Reddit, r slash Unreal, and follow us on Twitter at Unreal. Thanks so much. Develop and enjoy the world you've always imagined. See you next time.